Hello guys, Gene here with G Squared Tactical. I know I always say that I have something exciting to talk about. I, I can't necessarily say that I'm excited about this pistol. I didn't even know the thing existed. I just happened to be scrolling through the website of a local brick and mortar store that we go to and I seen it on there and I was like, well, how about that? And I went and picked it up. And what it is, is the thesis. If I'm saying that wrong, I'm sure someone will correct me, but I'm gonna call it thesis because that's the way it looks to me. This is a 1911 chambered in 10 millimeter. Has the big old X on the side there, which I'm sure means 10 for the 10 millimeter round. And I'm always, maybe more so than most people, I think we really learned the true meaning of gun snob when we put up the Prodigy video and we had these rabid Wilson Combat and mostly staccato fanboys that was just trashing the gun. I mean, almost as if they were lashing out personally at us or something like, and we, we know that it's because they can afford a more expensive firearm that they want to trash people maybe they can't. Maybe they want to trash guns that are not as expensive. Well, you know, I'm really happy for those that can go out and purchase guns that are that expensive. And I have some $3,000 guns in the safe follow our Facebook page, we'll be glad to show them to you. But I was raised very poor, did not have a silver spoon, so I'm always still, don't know that it'll ever get out of me, looking for that, if you want to call it budget friendly, but cheaper, whatever, whether it be a car, whether it be a gun, whether it be a camera, um, a computer, I'm always looking for that cheaper option that will give me very similar features and function right and so i'm always excited when i come across some of these cheaper now i have had a thesis you know 1911 or maybe i had a friend i think actually that had one and it was the mil spec version i think it's about a 400 dollar pistol I, I mean he says it functions great he says he loves the thing it, it's accurate and never had any problems with it and so on and so forth but the finish wasn't that great. It was just, it just it felt and it kind of looked like a cheaper gun. But if it functions, it functions. So when I saw this on the picture, I thought, well, there's no way that thing is aesthetically pleasing in person as it was on the computer. But I was wrong. One of the first things that I noticed about this thing was just versus the Rock Island and the Taurus 1911s was that the finish was just phenomenal compared to those. For a, I mean, I paid just a hair over $700 for this gun with tax and so me it was like 6.99 plus tax i think the msrp is like 7.99 but for a 699 dollar pistol chambered in a 10 millimeter i mean you know you would think you'd be sacrificing heavily on something you would be sacrificing on finish now if you do hold this and bend it and move it back and forth and put some oil on the top of that slide and you really hone in on it you can see some little waves in there and stuff. I'm sure that's some machining and stuff, and I'm sure that's where maybe they didn't take as much time doing that as you might would have on one of your higher end 1911s. But overall, finish is way better, in my opinion, way more aesthetically pleasing and way better done than on the Taurus and on the Rock Island that we had. I actually had to sell the Rock Island because it was keeping me awake at night because I could hear it rusting in the safe. Uh, so far, this has been in the safe about three or four days. So far, I haven't seen any rust on this. I will let you know if that changes. But anyway, again, very, very happy with the way the, the finish looks on the upper and the lower. Very classic 1911 two-tone look. I like it a lot. It does have the front serration that everybody is always, you know, fanatical about these days. And, of course, it does have the rear serrations. Both are canted just a little bit slightly towards the forward position. It does have a serrated front blacked out sight. If I were to carry this for protection or if I were to carry this in my truck or, or anywhere, nightstand or whatever, I would probably change that out and put a tritium field front sight on there. But that's nothing against the gun itself because a lot of people are doing that these days where they're putting the blacked out sights on there. My sight's not that great, so it's hard for me to pick up on that. It does have the LPA BOMAR, I guess that's how you say that, B-O-M-A-R. Rear steel sight, again, fully adjustable windage and elevation. Again, a nice little feature 
for an MSRP of about $7.99 or <clears throat> in my case $6.99 for again I can't stress enough a 10 millimeter cartridge and it does have an ambi safety here you know I'm a little bit of a snob about safeties on 1911s I have a $2,500 Dan Wesson in there that only has a right-hander safety on it. It is not ambi and it is not tactile. It does not stick off the slide the way that this one does. Nice serrations on there. It does flip up very nice into place. It doesn't feel loose like it's going to fall out or anything or fall off or fall down. It's a very nice, not the best feeling positive snap in and out 1911 uh, safety that I've had but these things are very cheap very easy to replace if you wanted to upgrade it to a better safety again it's a safety it does work it is functional I don't know if you'd write home to mom about it but you know anyway so on the rear well let's just keep going down here so the trigger the trigger feels just like any other 1911 it does have a very little bit of take up just like any 1911 it it does like it, it, it hits a wall and moves just a little bit more that is kind of unlike a 1911 I suppose so I guess there are better 1911 triggers as far as the reset is concerned it feels just like any other 1911 when it does reset you do have that little bit of take up again now, on some of my more expensive 1911s, that's not the case. As soon as you feel that reset, you don't have any take up at all. It just You're just ready to pull the trigger again. So when it resets, it's nice, it's tactile, you can feel it, it's audible, but you do have a little bit of take up again before it breaks. And so in that way, I guess maybe the trigger could be better. It is serrated on the front of the trigger and it does have on the rear here i guess that would be their symbol i don't know if that's a little eagle or what that is nice nice well done beaver tail safety here again it feels like a 1911 it feels very very good in the hand one of the things when i picked it up and you know that some of the cheaper Springfield 1911s, Springfield's been one of the ones that's been doing it a lot lately where they've removed the front checkering on the, the front of the grip here. On the front of this grip, you do have 25 LPI checkering on the front of this grip. It looks very sexy, and with a 10 millimeter cartridge, you definitely want to feel like you've got a firm grip on this gun. So not only does it look aesthetically pleasing, but it also is functional. It feels very, very good in the hand. The main spring housing on the back here does have the same checkering, except for that it is 20 LPI. And it the, one of the things when I picked, I said, why does this feel so much better than a typical 1911? I think most people can agree that a 1911 feels better than most any gun in the hand, if we're just talking about feeling in the hand. But this one, the, the I'll put a picture up of it, but the flatness, I mean, it's just literally flat all the way across here. I mean, it's very well undercut, but then it just flattens out. It's real flat, and that flat comes out into the bottom of the trigger guard here. It just feels fantastic. And so that is very well done. Again, some of these features, front, rear serrations, fully adjust, adjustable LPA, Bomar uh, rear sight here, uh, 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 a very tactile, uh, ambi safety here some of those are features that you see on more higher priced 12 13 15 sixteen hundred dollar guns also another one of those things you see is this front checkering on some of your more expensive guns also it has a very very sexy i mean one of, i mean overall i just thought the gun was extremely aesthetically pleasing and then you throw a set of these what looks like almost snake skin like G10 grips on here with the torque screws instead of the flathead. Again, that's just something you typically would see on a higher priced gun. And it has this little cutaway here down into, for the righty of course, down into the mag release here, which is checkered. It is not necessarily extended, I would say, but I can pretty much manipulate it without changing my grip on the gun. It's not 
that easy, but I can do it. You know I'm a little bit of a snob about that. Again, if I was going to carry the gun, I probably would replace that and put an extended mag release on there, but we're talking about a gun I paid $700 for. Again, chambered in 10 millimeter. It did come with two eight round magazines. They put you very much in mind of Metcar mags, but it is not stamped anywhere that I can see with the Metcar logo. So I don't know if, if it is Tesis's mag or if they farm that out to someone else, not totally sure on that. But I do have the nine round Wilson Combat magazine and that's not trashing anything about the magazine that came with the gun because of course, as you know, it doesn't matter if I have a $3,000 1911 or a four or $500 one like on the Rock Island and Taurus, I always run Wilson Combat magazines. I think they're the best, the best magazine for a 1911. It did come with the ramrod, of course the cleaning brush. It did come with the little takedown tool here. And let's see if it came with anything else. That's about all I see there. So we got two eight round mags, cleaning tools, and the little takedown tool here. And we have not got this to the range yet. We hope to do that very, very soon. We're actually, hopefully, towards the end of next week, we're hoping to get out towards the range. And we just kind of wanted to get this tabletop up. This is kind of new to us. I couldn't find a whole lot online about the gun. So I'm just kind of sort of, I guess, winging it. But some of the videos that I watched, I didn't see any malfunctions. Uh, the folks had very, very good things to say about it. Again, it does have a very nice two-tone classic 1911 look and I mean it has a flared and lowered ejection port here again something that you typically may would see allow it to to be I guess less likely better easier to feed that way and hopefully it would eject the casings further away from you rather than back at you and again these are just features you would see on a more higher priced 1911 and I am super excited I say that a lot, but I'm very, very excited about getting this gun out to the range to see how it performs, see how it handles that cartridge, that 10 millimeter cartridge. I wish we had some ammo sponsors so we could run this thing about a thousand or 1200 rounds, see how it holds up because that's what people mostly want to know. Sure, you went out to the range, you ran a hundred rounds through it, it was accurate, it done well, it didn't uh, fail to feed, it functioned fine. but what will it hold up to in the long run and if we can ever get an ammo sponsor uh, maybe we can put it through a thousand round test but for the time being we're not going to be able to do that so again it's a stainless steel five inch barrel on this gun i didn't do any weights or trigger pulls or anything like that on it that's really not important to me weight wise it feels much like any other 1911 and the the spring was super super stiff where the slide was super difficult to manipulate when I first got it but just sitting here doing this and it really loosened up a lot like more than I would have thought it would have so again if you like the video if you have one of these guns if you know anything about it maybe you can tell us we love to communicate with you leave your your uh, your reviews or leave your comments you know, good, bad, or indifferent. We always respond to everyone and we just learn from each other. So again, anything that you know, let us know. And if you have any questions, ask, we'll answer if we can. And we hope to get this thing out to the range really, really soon because I'm super excited about shooting this gun. Again, make sure you hit the thumbs up button, share this video with your friends and family, and be sure that you subscribe if you have not already. Hope you have a great day and God bless.